Good afternoon. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. You have an outstanding academic record. Thank you, sir. First class everywhere. Thank you, sir. So, why do you wish to join the civil service? So I wish to join civil services because it's a very good career op uh, option one and also everybody uh, wants to make a change at some level. So uh, if, I, if I get to join services, I will uh, get, the network of the services is uh, very uh, large and I uh, will get a chance to make a difference uh, and reach out to the last ones. And what qualities do you possess which will make you a good civil servant? So I think I'm an uh, honest person and uh, with integrity. Apart from that, coming from a science background gives me a rational thinking. And uh, being also from an environment uh, background, I think that uh, in the process of implementing uh, schemes and later on if I get a chance to participate in policy making, I will also take into consideration these. Right. What about uh Leadership qualities, you haven't mentioned those, but you are looking at IAS, IFS, etc. Yes. These are leadership jobs, aren't they? Yes, sir. So leadership qualities are also become very important. Right? Yes, sir. Do you think rule of law is an important thing? Yes, sir. It should be upheld? Yes, sir. Rule of law is an important thing okay. and it should be so, believe in rule of law is or should also be considered as a great quality, as an important quality. Right? Thanks. Apart from honesty. Thank you. Uh, question, uh, Ms. Justine, yes, uh, what was the main objective of bringing in the Right to Information Act by the government? So, Right to Information Act was brought with the uh, idea that uh, information sharing forms an important pro uh, process of a democra uh, democracy and uh, also uh, uh, it enhances transparency and accountability in the system. Basically, it's to promote transparency and accountability. That is the main objective. So, how does one go about seeking information under the RTA? So, uh, there are, uh, there's a central institution of central uh, in information office, chief information officer, and there are information officers in uh, the departments. So, one can uh, uh, file a, a request online and uh, the data, if uh, it is not against the uh, national security or uh, the official secrets, it can be it can be given. Right. Yes. Now, uh, are any government departments exempt from the purview of the RTI Act? Sir, so I'm not very sure about this. Yes, but uh, under uh, Schedule 2 of the Act, okay. the government has listed out certain agencies, yes, uh, security and uh, intelligence agencies, which are exempt. Well, the RTI Act also has a provision for a Central Information Commission. Right? Yes, what is the purpose of this CIC? What is their role? So as far as I remember reading, a, a separate institution was needed under the Act so that uh, when the inquiry happens or when the uh, information is shared, there is no bias and the information is... Uh, it's basically an appellate body. It's an appellate body. If you are not satisfied with the information uh, provided by the CPIO and the first appellate authority of that department, then you go to the Central Information Commission. And the other role is, of course, is supervisory role to, to see whether the act will be implemented correctly. Okay, so it's basically a, a appellate body. Thank you for that. Okay, now uh, you, you have given foreign service as your second choice. Uh, you know, the U.S. is facing a very peculiar situation of they are talking of a U.S. federal shutdown. What is this? So the U.S. Uh, shutdown, as we are uh, we seeing the news, mm -hmm. is uh, uh, where the uh, government uh, bodies, it's a partial shutdown, the government bodies 
uh, they are not the workers are not being paid uh, because of the the federal uh, workers are not being paid right? yes sir because of the uh, no convergence of, of the interest of the uh, president the executive and the congress okay. uh, the major issue is regarding the uh, us mexico war so how much money does the president want so somewhere, uh, so somewhere his demand is around 5.7 yeah, billion dollars. 5.7 billion dollars is what he's wanting. Yes. Okay. Right. Now you know the Supreme Court some time back had legalized uh, legalized passive euthanasia. What is this passive euthanasia? So euthanasia is a, a mercy killing as we call it in simple terms. Right. And passive euthanasia uh, they are passive and active euthanasia. So passive euthanasia is where we do not actively go uh, and uh, kill somebody out of mercy or his vegetative condition. Uh, so in passive euthanasia, if a person is on uh, uh, artificial uh, support, external support, so life, that would life be support. life support. Thank you, yeah. sir. Uh, that could be the trial. Right. Now, but they also introduced the concept of a living will. Yes, sir. What is that? So a living will is a will that a person uh, can sign while he is living. Uh, to tell after what stage or if in case he is uh, at that stage uh, so the family can uh, withdraw the life support system. Right, right. Okay. Have you heard of, uh, you know the constitution provides for a motion of no confidence? Yes sir. How, what is the procedure? Okay. Can it be introduced uh, in the Raj Sabha? Um, so motion of no confidence uh, can be introduced in Lok Sabha because right. uh, it's yes. Representative of the people, so that is how the issue. So, be. is there any uh, restri restriction that how many people are required to move a motion? If one MP wants to move, mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. can't do it, right? No, no, sir. So, how many would be required? No. So, I have not. Shift, shift. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Justin, you are from Kanpur. Yes, sir. At present, you are in Kanpur also. Um, or you are working somewhere? Um, no sir, I'm in Delhi. I recently completed my master's this year itself. Okay, okay. So you are here. Yes sir. You have heard of this Namami Ganga? Yes sir. So, what is this project about? Namami Ganga? So this project is about uh, cleaning and rejuvenation of the Ganges river and it has several components. What are the main components? Yes sir, the main components uh, are the uh, construction of STPs. Uh, in the cities for sewage treatment, uh, the ghats rejuvenation, uh, the growing of green belt around the Ganges uh, to some extent. Um, that's it, sir. The major components are these. Sir. But you didn't talk about this, you know, Adiral Ganga and. Yes, the Nirbal Ganga, they are interrupted and the pristine. The cleaning of uh, Ganga the itself, you know, that is the main task. Yes. You talked about the effluent and also the sewage treatment and the heart, whatever you know. Okay. So, also, another important aspect you have missed that is behavior change. Right, sir. Ah, that, you know, that part is. This. Okay, tell me in Kanpur, what is the change, whatever you know, Kanpur also, whatever you know, uh, polluting Ganga. Kanpur has a major role. Mm, right, sir. Oh, the industries of tanneries. Mm. Uh, so, have you uh, any idea? Any yes, idea? Sir. What has been done in Kanpur and Yes, sir. Uh, as you suggested, the, uh, uh, the pollution from the tanneries is uh, what is causing, uh, contributing to the pollution in the river. And also, sir, the sewage treatment, uh, the sewage from the city also is contributing. Uh, in this regard, the government has, t has taken various steps. The most recent ones being the shutting down of almost 89 industrial tanneries did not have a treatment plant, uh, the common effluent treatment plants. And besides that, the uh, uh, government has also, uh, uh, there was a drain that was discharging the uh, water directly into uh, the river. So that has been connected to the sewage treatment plant. Uh, however, uh, uh, I think this can be even uh, made better. and. Uh, Okay. Right. Mm. Environmental studies is your subject, isn't it? Yes, sir. So, you did your main environmental mm. studies. Yes, sir. Tell me, 
the climate change, which is a kind of burning topic, hmm, the steps taken globally uh, for climate change and what is the progress? So climate change is a very burning issue and it is an issue that is post-sovereign. So countries together have taken up various measures. Uh, the most important one is the UNFCCC, that is United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Uh, where in Paris Agreement and the uh, latest Katowice uh, uh, landmark uh, uh, conference. Uh, apart from that, we also have a Red Plus initiative wherein we try to reduce the carbon emissions from forest cutting. And we also have a International Solar Alliance wherein India has taken a lead that would uh, lead to renewable uh, energy and cut down on the uh, carbon emissions. In, in the Paris Agreement, there are a number of steps to be taken. Yes. So, what have been done in that regard? I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. In Paris uh, agreement, mm -hmm. in that regard, number of steps to be taken for climate change, mm -hmm. huh? and uh, to reduce the carbon emission and all. Yes. So, what have been done so far in that regard? Yeah. So in Paris Agreement, various measures uh, were given. Um, like? Like. Mm -hmm. uh, like, so one was the $100 billion fund, mm -hmm. wherein the uh, developed countries had to contribute, considering the historical pollution that they have caused. Mm -hmm. Apart from this, uh, we also had uh, intent INDCs, intended nationally determined contributions, mm -hmm. wherein every country would uh, mention how much reductions it uh, aims to achieve. Mm -hmm. So what is done so far? So, uh, since the agreement was not legally uh, binding, mm -hmm. so not much has been achieved. Also, uh, due to uh, no standards for measurement of the uh, measurement and verification of the carbon emissions, there have been certain challenges which have uh, tried to be uh, sorted out at the recent Katowice COP20. And uh, Trump also, what is his role? US is a major yes. participant, and otherwise. So, what is his uh, statement for U.S. role and all that? Uh, so, uh, some countries like the U.S. and uh, Mr. Trump uh, have been denying climate change, but that is to our peril. So, uh, he did not w want to contribute to the uh, fund, and also he uh, does not believe in the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities. Okay. Tell me, have you heard of this basic structure of the Constitution? Yes, sir. So that's from it came. It is in the constitution itself? No, sir, it's not there in the constitution. Mm -hmm. It evolved from the Keshwan and Bharti case of 1973, and uh, new features uh, uh, keep on adding, uh, the court keeps on adding the new so What features. are the major, uh, uh, you know, some basic structure of the constitution as uh, pronounced by the Supreme Court from time to time? So there are many. Uh, the but, most, but for yes. you? So federalism uh, is one such, federalism, which is okay. yes, sir, which is not there in the constitution, yeah. but it's there in the basic structure. Uh, apart from that, we also have a right balance between the fundamental rights and the director principles. And? And, uh, so I'm not able to recall right now. Okay, we have. Oh, yes, I'll show you the package. Okay, thank you. You were talking about tanneries and closing down of tanneries. So the cow ban, uh, slaughter, common cow slaughter, how has that affected people in Hanpur uh, or in UPSH, whether it's farmers or others? From the little uh, knowledge that I have now, the impact of uh, cow slaughter a temporarily ban, ban, uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Sorry, a uh, ban on the cow, uh, cow slaughter temporarily was uh, seen. Uh, however, uh, the, uh, it, over the period, some of the tanneries have been uh, complying with the norms, as I've heard from my uh, parents. So, uh, yes, there is an impact still, but... Uh, so, where are they getting the heights from if there's a ban on slaughter of cows? Um, uh, given the little information I have, I think there were certain uh, norms and uh, they had to be a license or uh, something was there that we agreed on this. Shaman. Now another question, you had uh, philosophy as an optional subject. Yes. You would also have studied ethics as one of the papers. Do you think there's a lot of overlap between the two subjects? Uh, yes ma'am. 
suppose you were asked to give your recommendations, what would you say regarding either of the papers? I'm sorry, no. Suppose you were asked to give recommendations, since there is so much of overlap, what would you say? What would you recommend? Either in the ethics paper or in the paper of philosophy? No, I'm sorry, recommend as in which what, what would you say? Should we have an overlap? There's a complete overlap, isn't yes. there? Thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, ethics uh, is a part of, in fact, philosophy mm -hmm. and it's a normative science wherein a philosophy we uh, uh, take an issue and we particularly ra uh, rationally go about it. But ethics is a normative science wherein uh, there are certain no, norms. I think you didn't get my question or maybe I didn't make myself clear. There's a paper known as ethics. Yes. What is that paper? The paper in UPSC? Yes, in the UPSC. Yes, yes ma'am. So it's a uh, GS4. GS4 yes. yes. And uh, there's a overlap there between that paper and the main philosophy paper, which is an optional subject. Mm -hmm. Suppose you had to make a recommendation to the UPSC, what would you recommend? Can you please take a few seconds? Yes. Thank you. You study Indian philosophers, you study Western philosophers, and you study the same. So should we not take away part of this ethics paper, which is the UPSC paper? Yes, from the main ethics. Um, all right, next question. I would like to okay. if you answer. Um, ethics uh, basically is a part of philosophy, mm -hmm. so it's very difficult to uh, completely isolate the two. However, uh, if I were to suggest UPSC, I can ask them to uh, keep the, philo uh, the philosophers and the content uh, different. For example, even now, the approach that we have in social political philosophy is different, wherein we talk about all the philosophies, wherein there as an ethics, we should focus more on uh, what their uh, philosophy is regarding the grounds of it. Yes. So, do you think Gandhi's philosophy is relevant today? Yes, not very much. Uh, starting from environment, ma'am, uh, today, uh, as we see, that uh, we are not able to uh, deal with the, uh, or to some extent, that uh, the pollution and these problems that are being created, the consumerism and all these ideas, the Gandhian idea of uh, uh, the uh, need and the greed philosophy, that will be very much relevant as he has cited in the, uh, uh, the Hindu Swaraj, that concept is relevant. Apart from that, in the uh, terms of economy, uh, when we talk about corporate governance, the trusteeship idea of Gandhi is beautiful. Good. Now, my last question. If I asked you to give me recommendations to make Delhi a safer place for women, what would you say? Just give me one, two, three, four. That's it. <coughs> There could be a surveillance and more cameras. Yes, surveillance. More women on the road. All right. More women police or more women? How more. do you have more women on the road? Uh, we need to ensure such policies that more women police and no. more police. All right. Maintenance. Um. Lighting of streets. Attitude change. Yes. And self help for the women themselves. Yes. Thank you. Let's go. One hears a lot about cooperative federalism. Yes, sir. What is this concept? So, cooperative federalism is where states come together and the center and they together uh, cooperate and develop uh, on the policies. Are we moving in that direction? Sir, to a great extent, yes, we are. Uh, GST is already uh, okay. great. A any other? Instruments of cooperative federalism. I'm sorry. Commission. Oh, yes. Right. Niti of course, Niti Aayog's role is promoting cooperative federalism. Finance Commission. How many finance commissions have? The recent finance commission was the 15th. 15th one, which is currently on, right? 14th finance commission. That is the previous one. Uh, the recommendation of finance commission is to decide on the percentage of uh, how much resources are to be devolved to the states. Was there any substantial change in the, as compared to the earlier ones? In uh, the 15th, sir? 15th is still on. So, 14th, was it any in any way different than 13th or 12th? Yes, sir. Uh, 
as far as I can recall, the uh, quantum of share that was given to the states was increased. By a book. Uh, by the 14th. By what percentage? It was raised from 32 to 40. 32 to 42, yes. So that's a very significant step up. Uh, NGT, you are dealing with the environmental issues. <coughs> NGT has given us a past lot of important judgments which concerns the pollution and the things like that, environmental issues. Can you list out what the important judgments which has made a difference? So the most important judgment and the most recent one uh, was the one wherein the uh, state government was asked to uh, levy charge on the water, groundwater consumption. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, so recently also it asked uh, the most recent news, the Fox Fighting Company, to uh, because it did not comply and uh, with the uh, verification measures for its diesel engines, so it has asked to pay uh, it uh, uh, in the interim period uh, rupees 100 crores this time. So that is a good step. So for cheating, get a, for cheating yes, that is what is the okay. uh, They say that GST is a game changer. In what way it has changed the game, the rules of, rules of the game? So it has, uh, it aims to simplify the tax regime. Uh, so the, con uh, the cascading of tax effect has reduced. So, and in the longer spillover effects can be seen in terms of, ex uh, in the longer run that we can see, the exports will increase, the ease of doing business has increased. So. The uniformity of tax rates across the country. Yes, sir. So that's a uh, singular objective of just right. Uh, what is the difference between Jainism and Buddhism? Are there any similarities and also difference? So uh, both schools of thoughts are uh, agnostic when it comes to God, uh, is a similar, major similarity. And both of them came to oppose the uh, ritualistic approach of Hinduism, uh, talking about the difference. So, uh, Any difference between these two? Similarity humans? Yes, sir. Uh, the metaphysics uh, point of view, Jainism talks about multiple realities, wherein uh, for Buddhism things are momentary, there is nothing permanent, whereas uh, this is not uh, in case of Jainism. The propounders was all, were also different, and the right to attain liberation in both are also. Okay, different. last question. What is the BRICS initiative? The BRICS is Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa initiative, wherein these uh, developing countries. Uh, are coming together. The yeah. emerging. Yes, the economies. Emerging. Any initiative taken by this group? Major initiative? So, there's the BRICS Bank uh, is one of them, wherein we try to finance the uh, infrastructure and other projects. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So, you're fond of music. What mm -hmm. kind of music? So, I sing also, but largely I play synthesizer. Synthesizer? Yes, sir. Can anyone play synthesizer? A child can also play. So anyone can play synthesizer, but the question is if how melodious and how uh, what tune is being played. <clears throat> but all tunes are pre-programmed there, no? Uh, so the mu background music is pre-programmed, uh, but then uh, the background music is simple beats. But when we press the chords on the left, then uh, the combination those uh, tunes are appropriate. Uh, regarding your environmental studies, yes, sir. last <coughs> a few months back, IPCC had brought out a very alarming report. Are you aware? Of that? Yes, sir. What is IPCC? So it's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Is it an independent body or what is it? Um, so I'm not sure. It's an NGO. <coughs> Works under the United Nations. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, so, what was the gist of this report? So, the gist was that uh, we might fail to uh, 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 limit our temperature increase uh, to 1.5. That was. Uh, no, it is said by so and so date we will bleach it if we are not. It has. Uh, so there is a specific uh, warning. Have you heard or read it? Uh, yeah, I did read it, sir, but I'm sorry to not be able to recall it. I will go back and check it, sir. Okay. 
says that global warming has increased dangerously. At this rate, if we do not take steps, then by 2030 we will be breaching 1.5. Hmm, read it, it's an important report. Now, what was COP21? So, COP21 was the Paris Agreement. Uh, is Kyoto Protocol dead? Mm, sir, I would not say it's dead, mm. uh, but uh, it also, uh, the Kyoto Protocol uh, aimed to deal with the greenhouse gases wherein they talk spoke about carbon. What was the most important uh, so condition of cause of Kyoto Protocol? So I'm sorry. No. You need to read these. That is, of all these agreements, international agreements, that was the only binding agreement. It was binding on, on whom? So, on the countries that signed it. Only on the rich countries. Not on all the countries. Right. What is COP24? So the COP24 is uh, Katowice, so that we recently had. What were its achievements? Name two <coughs> most important achievements. So we had a rule book. Uh, one, the other is that the uh, measurement and uh, the verification uh, for the carbon emissions uh, uh, was decided wherein the uh, carbon credits that we have could be uh, exchanged. Has India determined its IDCs? Yes, sir. Yes or no? You sir, India. seem very shaky. You have done environmental studies and, huh? in your MA. Sir, India did achieve its IDCs. What That's is its uh, IDC? Name one or two important targets which it has set for itself. Sir, I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm sorry, I'm not very sure. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Has India produced any great phosphor? Yes, sir. Name? Uh, it's my daily daughter, Shankaracharya, sir. Shankaracharya. Yes, sir. What is this great philosophy which is practicable, which is we can all adhere to or we can adopt? What is this philosophy? So, his philosophy is that uh, uh, all the things ultimately are part of Brahman. So, uh, this may sound very mystical, but on the practical level, he has accepted uh, everything in uh, the... Then you should not hang a criminal who was murdered because he is part of Brahma? No, sir. Uh, that he has spoken on the transcendental level, on the practical it level. Is, it sounds very grand, but it doesn't have any practical relevance. Is there any philosopher in India who who had practical relevance? Sir, Swami Vivekananda. Yes, say that. Yes, so we must name those who have some. Uh, we can follow those philosophy in practical life. What was his philosophy which you find were most uh, practical and uh, impressive? So the most impressive philosophy that I find. Uh, that I find is uh, when he says, "Rise, awake, and stop not not until the goal is achieved," which is very much relevant for the youth today, wherein in this digital and quick world they're losing uh, patience and the world of instant gratification. So this will really motivate them to uh, achieve their goals. You know what I like about him? He says, "I would recommend that youth should play football instead of playing." Now you come from UP. There is a very serious matter concerning UP, which is before the Supreme Court. What is it? So it is regarding the uh, land dispute of the Ayodhya. Alright, we close the interview. I will give you a little feedback. I will start with this UP. 1100 encounters. Matter is before the Supreme Court. Supreme Court has very first day. Supreme Court said it's extremely serious issue. Do you consider it to be an important issue or not? Yes, sir, it is. Why? So because of. Uh, Moral police can kill anyone in the name of encounter? Yes, 
right? Now, we, uh, this is our view that most questioning will be based on your biodata and some on current affairs. Right? We have also accordingly asked you questions. So we have asked you on uh, philosophy, yes, Uttar Pradesh, you have been asked like Namami Gange, Kanpur, Cleaning, etc. Then uh, music, environmental studies. So these are some of the areas where we end philosophy. We have asked you these questions. And then we have asked you about current affairs like US shutdown, passive euthanasia, the Supreme Court judgment, living will against Supreme Court judgment. What is no confidence motion? Mm -hmm. How it is handled in Parliament? Mm -hmm. Then climate change, which is your own subject, but also very important. What does the US stand? Basic structure of the Constitution, I'm afraid you are not very well versed. You must check that out. You gave a very minor thing like directive principles and fundamental rights. Most important things are independence of the judiciary, independent judiciary. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> then uh, federalism, of federalism, yes, federalism. Mm -hmm. So those are the things, basic structure, that, that is the real basic structure. Fundamental rights, what does it say? Basic it also bas balance between uh, fundamental rights and DPSPs. No, this is it says fundamental rights, certain rights are inalienable. For instance, Article 21, 14, mm -hmm. 22. They can never be changed, modified. Others can be can be uh, amended. Then uh, relevance of Gandhi philosophy. Philosophy, we have asked you a number of questions, women and safety. Then we have asked you some important question like GST, cooperative federalism, NGT, BRICS, these are all relevant issues. And then finally, I have asked you a number of questions. I think this you should strengthen your knowledge. These are all uh, current issues as well as relating to your environment. IPCC report, Kyoto Protocol, COP21, 22, India's I, I, IDCs. India has set IDCs. You should take a look at it. Physics is your subject, so it's possible they might ask you some questions. Who have won the Nobel Prizes in the recent years? For what purpose they have won the Nobel Prize? And then about your own state, UP. They can ask you about the economic development of UP. Number two, about its HDI. Number three, law and order like this, uh, encounters, etc. So, that is all I think we need. And then keep a close watch on day-to-day -day developments through the new, uh, newspaper reading. Okay. Okay. Right. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good luck. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And press the bell icon to never miss an update.